everyone, it's me, Estella. Today I'll be showing you how I studied for my Chapter 6 AP Statistics test a little while ago, and basically just show you guys how I study for my tests for stats in general. First I get out several sheets of blank white printer paper. As you guys can see I have a pretty big stack but I don't use all of the paper. And then I just get some highlighters and some pens. Um, you can see one of the pens I have has many different colors in it, which is more convenient. Um, and yeah, so I start out writing the title of the chapter. You can see it says Chapter 6 Random Variables at the top. Um, and then also you can see it says Don't Forget Calculator. That's just like I have a little note section at the top just in case I need to remember anything really important. And then I start by writing out the different sections so you can see like 6.1 discrete and continuous variables and then i have other sections and basically how i was studying for this test was that i used two powerpoints because the test was on 6.1 and 6.2 um just to study because i thought it would be more concise and faster than just reading the entire textbook um so yeah and then i just go on taking notes with different colors um, to, you know, help things stand out and highlight the most important things. I write in the formulas with different colors. And my colors vary um, depending on my mood, I guess. I just really just randomly use different colors. I just use them to um, emphasize certain things so that I can easily they catch my attention when I'm looking back over my notes. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have any particular color coding system, um, at least for making these notes. Um, but yeah. So I make these notes and then I always go over them the morning of the test as well to make sure that I'm ready and I go over everything again. And I always make sure I include um, example problems in my notes. This, these are what they look like final product you can see I circled certain formulas and capitalized certain things and then I drew some things as well and then I just put in some sample problems from the PowerPoint and from the textbook so some examples and I highlighted all the vocabulary and you guys can also see that I would use my highlighter to just write out um, headings for the different sections or different topics and yeah, that's basically what my notes look like um, once I'm done studying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Bye guys!